Hello friends, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to have a broad overview of the functionalities that are available in the unified Darpan Android application. Let us understand the enhancements or the improvements brought in when compared to the existing RICT Darpan solution. As the name states, the unified Darpan application can be installed in any Android device, be it a mobile or a tab. It replaces the RACT Darpan solution running on the Vision 10 device. Therefore, the Vivos once migrated to the unified Darpan application will not use the RACT device for their operations. Friends, for logging into the Unified Darpan Android application, three alternatives are provided. First one is Aadhaar Biometric Login. In this method, the biometric of the VPM should be validated with Aadhaar server and login is allowed if the biometrics are matched. Second login method is Aadhaar OTP Login. In this method, OTP shall be sent to Aadhaar link mobile number of the VPM and login is allowed if the OTP is matched. The last one is by entering the user ID and the password with OTP. In this method, VPM has to enter the user ID and password. Then an OTP is sent to his mobile number registered by the divisional head. Login is allowed once the OTP is entered correctly by the VPM. All the functionalities of the VPM are broadly categorized into four groups in the unified Darpan application. First option is utilities. Second one is main operations. And the third one is Darpan CBS. And last one is Darpan insurance. Friends, now let us discuss the various options available under these four categories. All mail related activities such as booking, bagging and delivery are grouped under mail operations category. Booking and delivery of all types of articles and the EMOs can be done using this option. Using the options available under Darpan CBS category, VPN can complete all the POSB operations such as opening an account, deposit, withdrawal, including high value withdrawal, etc. Provision is also made for viewing the mini statement and daily transaction report. Similarly, Darpan insurance option provides the various PLI and the RPLI functionalities such as the premium collection, new business codes, proposal indexing, policy search, code generation, service request indexing, etc. Finally, under utilities category, Provision is made for other functionalities like day begin, day end, special remittance, border generation and generation of reports, etc. In addition to the above four categories, provision is made for checking the wallet balance, setting the barcode scanner, checking whether any CBS or the insurance transaction is in the pending status, etc. The first operation of the day for a VPM is to perform day begin. After the day begin, the VPM can perform any transaction as per requirement. However, to perform the delivery operations, 
Opening of the viewer bag and receipt of its content is mandatory. If virtual data of the viewer bag is not received for any reason, the BPM can continue his delivery work by receiving the viewer bag and its contents through manual data entry option. Once all the work of the BU is complete, the BPM needs to perform day end. Using the option available under utilities category. At this point of time, the Darpan application connects to IPPB server and fetches the total deposits and total withdrawals done by the BPM since the last day end. For example, if day end in the unified Darpan app has done it 4 pm on the previous day, then the total deposits and the total withdrawals done by the BPM in the IPPB application from 4 pm of yesterday till now will be fetched from the IPPB server. However, if the data could not be fetched for any server, network or the device issue, then the BPM has to enter this information manually. While entering the data, care should be taken to enter the total IPPB deposits and the total IPPB withdrawals done after performing the last day end in the unified Darpan application. This will ensure the correct closing balance of the BO at the time of performing day end. After performing day end, the BPM can generate the BO daily account, that is BODA. Check the correctness of the BODA figures and then dispatch the BO back to account office with all contents. Friends, as you can observe that, the options that are available in the RICT Darpan application have been retained to the maximum extent in the unified Darpan application as well. At the same time, few enhancements made are very significant and these enhancements facilitate the BPM to perform his duties better. Now, let us see few of those prominent improvements. Single unified application for all operations. Now, BPM need not close and open multiple applications based on the type of the service. All the operations, maybe it is mail booking, mail delivery, CBS, or PNI can be done with a single application. Device agnostic, that means there is no dependency on the device. The unified Darpan application can be installed in any Android device without any restriction to specific device, model, manufacturer, etc. Zero restrictions on the network. BPM is now free to use any network of his or her choice as the Darpan application supports 3G, 4G, 5G including Wi-Fi which is a significant enhancement. Less number of screens. With the increased screen size in the mobile or the tab, all the fields are displayed mostly in a single screen. Therefore, now the BPM need not go through multiple screens to complete a transaction. Multiple option for login. As we have discussed earlier, one more facility in this application is having multiple options for login. With this, the failures in logging in can be completely avoided. Automatic Generation of Boda Automatic generation of the Boda is another significant improvement. 
Here, the BMO daily account can be generated automatically without any data entry. Data entry of the IPPV transactions is required only when there is a network server or the device issue. Seamless delivery operations. Now, BPM can perform the delivery operations without depending on whether account office has done the bank dispatch in the SAP or not. There is no need to depend on the reset of virtual bank data from the account office. If the virtual data is not received for any reason, BPM can receive the PO bank and its contents manually and continue his operations in the application. Real-time wallet updation One more utility brought by the Unified Darpan application is to have real-time wallet updation. As in when any transaction is done, either in mail, CBS or insurance, the wallet balance gets automatically increased or decreased. This way, the BPM can know the actual cash available at any point of time. Friends, that's all in this session. I hope you have understood the overall functionalities of Unified Darpan Android application and major enhancements it brought in. We will learn about each of these functionalities in detail in the subsequent sessions. Thank you for watching and wish you a very happy learning.